Hello and welcome to a lecture on Keep Open Flow Sheet Environment. Today we will learn how to simulate a plug flow reactor in Kofi. The example that I am going to take is manufacture of styrene monomer. The styrene monomer is manufactured by dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene. The reaction is ethyl benzene reversibility gives you styrene and hydrogen. The thermodynamics that we will be using for this problem is Peng Robinson equation of state. And the kinetic parameters are noted. Now let us go ahead and see how can we simulate this reactor. I have already configured the thermodynamics and the reaction kinetics which will be used in the flow sheet. How to configure them is given in the video and the links for these videos are given below and they might be given on the top two on the top right of this video. So do watch them to clarify if you have any doubts. Now we go ahead and open a new flow sheet. We go to settings, go to property packages, click add, click TEA and select the thermodynamics package that we have created. Now we go to reaction package, click add, select con and select the reaction package that we have created. Now we add a stream to the simulation canvas. As I already have said in many of my lectures previously, one should always after this step go and save the flow sheet. So let me rename the flow sheet as EXPT experimental and that's it. Now we double click on the flow sheet. The pressure of the feed in the reactor is 270 kilopascals and the temperature of the feed entering is 650 degrees Celsius. We enter this. So we change the units and we enter the pressure. Further we change the units and we enter the temperature. Now come to compound flows and change the units of the compound flow to kilo mole R. The flow of ethyl benzene is 225. The flow of water is 3400. Styrene is 0.9472. That of benzene is 0.4578 and that of toluene is 0.746. We are done with entering. Now let us run. The stream that was black has turned green. It means the properties were calculated and the specifications are complete. Now click on unit operations, click on reactors and select PFR. SI in reaction package dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene to unit operation PFR1, click yes. 
Now take this stream and click it, join it to the PFR. Add another stream, click it on the PFR, drag it, and finally enter it in the flow sheet. Stream number one is the inlet, and stream number two is the outlet. Now let us go ahead and configure the PFR. Double click on the PFR and click on edit. The reaction phase is vapor and the reaction length is 3.3. The reaction diameter is 3.5. Mind you, the units are important. It is 3.3 units and 3.5 meters, 3.3 meters and 3.5 meters. Now come to the enthalpy. It is always suggested you take the heat balance as use enthalpy F. It will use its own internal calculation procedure to calculate the heats of reaction and the CPs. Now since the reactor is running adiabatically, therefore we are not giving or taking any heat away from the reactor. So the constant heat duty should be zero and the wall heat transfer duty also should be zero. Now go to the internals. There are no heating or cooling tubes inside the reactor. Therefore, number of tubes keep it to zero and the heat transfer coefficient for these tubes is also zero. Coming to the packing, we have taken a pseudo homogeneous reaction model. This reaction model assumes that the reaction is a homogeneous reaction, it is not a heterogeneous reaction. In heterogeneous reaction, the rate of reaction is moles of the reaction per kg of catalyst per second. In a homogeneous reaction, the rate of reaction is moles of the reaction per meter cube of the reactor, that is the volume of the reactor per unit second. So we have taken this as a homogeneous reactor. Therefore, we should not enter anything here as a packed bed. It's an empty bed and the wall roughness is zero meters. Now coming to the reaction, click add, select one and click OK. Close all the windows and run. As we can see, our problem has run successfully. Now to know what is the conversion and what are the inlet and the outlet concentrations and flow rates, we can double click and have a view. But a simpler way would be to go to insert, go to stream report, click anywhere, select both the streams by pressing shift, select them and transfer them to the right and click OK. Now as we can see here we have got the stream table, it gives us the concentration of the inlet and the outlet streams. One can very clearly see here that the inlet mole fraction of hydrogen is 0 and in the outlet it is 0 0.031 which means Ethyl benzene was converted to styrene, which is very obvious here, and hydrogen was produced. This simulator has a lot of functionality. To see whether your simulation is right and things are okay, working okay, one can go to plot, one can go to arrow array parameter plot. The x-axis of the arrow parameter should be selected as position and the y-axis the rate profile and there we are. As we can see here the rate of the reaction falls as the distance in the reactor increases and it falls so in a smooth fashion which automatically means that whatever configuration that we had done 
was right. Let's save this. Now, this was a tutorial on how to simulate a PFR in a very rigorous fashion for a pseudo homogeneous reaction kinetics for production of styrene monomer from dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene. I am sure you must have learnt a lot today. If you have any doubts, do write in into the comments. And if you are interested in such videos, then to write it in your comments and I will produce them for you. Use Cape Open Flow Sheet Environment for doing projects in chemical engineering at the final year level. You will find it very interesting and a very good learning experience. This is one tool which can put your process ideas to reality. All the flow sheets that you learn in chemical technology can actually be put to reality and designed. Please subscribe my channel and please like my video. Thank you.